Hey everyone, Sean B. Martin here, and we are going to do the next episode of World Editing with Sean B. Martin. That's me. I'm here. I said that. So you may recognize this arena and this area. This is Stevie G's server. He is nice enough and trust enough ha, 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 to let me on his server to world edit and that is where we played a PvP match, me and Vance and some other people and that got me to thinking um, it got me to thinking I wanted to make my own war zone so that's what we're gonna do today and we're gonna combine it with the world edit video so over here I've found a great expanse of water as you can see and I'm going to create an island out of nothing and then in the next video I'm going to turn that island into a war zone. So stay tuned, that's what's happening and it's awesome. Let's go! Now I, I'm mostly going to improvise this so there are going to be a lot of jump cuts and a lot of um, things happening that uh, I might not be sure exactly if they're going to work or not because I've never built an island out of nothing and um, it's going to be interesting trying to see how it works. And if you're looking at the chat right now, you see that Lefarian is in here. He's working on some kind of redstone thing. That's cool. Uh, so I've got my stick out <laughs> and I'm going to set a brush on it of sand. I'm sorry, sphere, sand. And we're going to make it pretty sizable. I think we'll do eight. And oh, that's right. We can't do more than five. Someone tell me what a better way of doing this is. I could go place spheres by hand, but I don't want to do that. Okay, sphere size of five. And we're going to shoot some... What just happened? That is just a glitch, right? There is sand there. Whoa, that was weird. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're going to fill in this area with some sand. Um, the reason you're going to use sand is because it... Uh, because gravity applies to it and it's going to fall and fill in areas that is important and I'm just going to build up a giant area here I'm going to skip ahead to when I've already done most of that okay after a couple of minutes uh, probably about five minutes of clicking around this is what I got and it looks goofy and it looks lumpy and that is unavoidable because when you're placing spheres that's what you're going to get but basically I made an island of um, I would say it's probably about 35 or 40 by 40 uh, it's a little skinnier this way than it is this way um, but it looks it looks really bizarre because it was placed with spheres and we're going to fix that with a smooth brush so I'm going to go to my arrow which I can I still have my sphere on my stick here you can see I can still place spheres. And then my arrow is not a brush yet. And what we're going to do is we're going to do brush smooth uh, radius, which we'll do five, and then number of iterations, which I still don't really know what that means. But we're going to do two because it normally works, and that's fine. And then you're going to right click, and you can just hold right click and apply. Be careful if you make mistakes too quickly, you won't be able to undo enough steps. But uh, you'll see what this is doing. It's just evening out everything. It's trying to match areas close by. Um, that's what the smooth brush does. It behaves kind of like a smooth brush in Photoshop. And uh, I'm just going to do this for a couple minutes and then we'll see what we get. Okay, I've been doing that for about two minutes and I would say it already looks incredibly better. I've left a number of high features still in because I think it's going to make the map much more interesting like that. Um, now we're going to deal with the next problem which is that when I placed these spheres in the water I created a number of uh, weird water anomalies like this and we're just going to fix that with the fix water command. You have to do a radius large enough that you can try and uh, encompass as many of them. I gotta be standing in the water. <laughs> you try and encompass of as many of them as you can at once. There, there we go. We got that side. I'm just going to zip around here. Uh, if you're wondering what fly mod I'm using, the link is in the info. It's called the zombie mod. Here's another one. Fix water. Fixed. Uh, someone told me you don't have to stand in the water, but I've never figured out how to get it to work without standing in the water. So you go ahead and explain to me how you can fix it without standing there. That's fixed. That's fixed. I would also recommend keeping a fairly small radius on fixed water. 
I saw someone do a fixed water of 200 once and it caused a lot of server lag. So I, I stick with something like 30 or 50 at the most, I would say. And that seems to work pretty well. All right, well, that's done. All the water is fixed now. Still got some kind of spherical looking things, but um, I think that'll be close attention details that we'll fix up later because the smooth brush can only do so much. It's still going to kind of have that weird looking <laughs> spherical edge to it. But uh, whatever. Uh, we're going to move on to the next part, which is you don't want this, you probably don't want this to be made out of sand. I know I don't. So the reason I placed it in sand is to get it to fall and make a more natural looking formation, like I said. But we're going to change it to something more practical. In this case, we're going to change it to dirt. So I've got a feather here. A feather is another item that you can use as a brush. And we're going to set the brush sphere as usual. Um, always thinking in three dimensions. And we'll do five, because that's the biggest we can do. I'm sorry, we have to do what we want it to be made of first. We're gonna do dirt, five. And then the next thing we're gonna do, if you just do it like this, you're gonna get this. Boom. You're gonna get the center of a sphere placed wherever you're pointing. That's not what you want. What you want to do is mask the dirt onto the sand. So you set a sand mask like that and brush mask set and then you just click and point and wherever you're hitting sand it will automatically change it to dirt. Another way you could do this is to you make a cuboid selection of as much of the area as you could and then uh, replace the sand with dirt either ID 2 or ID 3. I'm actually going to convert this to grass when I'm finished and I'll show you how because it's a very useful trick and I use it a lot. But uh, I didn't want to do that because I want to kind of, I want to run the risk of having having random patches of sand. In fact, I think I'm going to leave some on top. So I didn't do the cuboid thing just so that I could be a little more um, hands-on with the development of this island. In fact, I think I'm just going to leave a beachy part right there. I think that little area will be beachy and I'll probably put something there that would make people want to go there. Yeah, I'll make one beach there and then one beach over there. All right, I goofed up a little bit. I covered part that I wanted to turn into a beach. So since I was going to do it anyway, I thought I'd record how I'm going to fix it. I'm just going to set my brush to sand again. Oh, I've got one over here. I don't even need to. <laughs> I'm going to go to this brush. This is why I made three brushes. I wanted to show you the advantages of having three different brushes at once. I've got, this is the brush that makes sand. Boom. I'm going to undo because I don't want that. This is the brush that smooths. And this is the brush that is masking my dirt into my sand. So I'm just going to go to my dirt brush here. I mean my sand brush. I got distracted by the changing time. And change the mask to dirt like this. It's three. And I'll just paint a little bit of a desert landscape back in right there. Maybe I'll put, maybe I'll put a couple cactuses on the edge of it and then put a chest with a good item down there that you can only get probably once at the very beginning of each round. Yeah, I like it, I like it, I like it. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to convert some of this into grass. Eventually the grass will spread to the entire map and that's why I don't really care to grab everything. It's not going to matter. Eventually it will be covered in grass and I'm just going to do it like this. I'm going to select something on that corner of the map. This already looks good. This looks good from the ground level. I like it a lot already. Nice. And I'm going to go over here. And I've got a big wide selection now. I'm, I'm playing without that mod on because I don't think it was really necessary for this specific tutorial. So I've selected a large cuboid section and I'm just going to replace the ID for dirt is three. The ID for grass is two. So I'm going to replace three with two. And boom, that should do that. And eventually that will spread and cover the whole map. I kind of wish that it that you could disable spread. I guess I could save, if I were already in the stage where I was using the Warzone plugin, I could save it uh, with part of it grass and part of it dirt, and that way every time it respawned, it would do that. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get that fancy, and it's probably gonna spread before I get even close to doing the Warzone part of this. So that's how you change dirt into grass, and I use that all the time when I'm doing world edit. 
Okay, another thing I'm interested in doing, and I tried it in another video and it wasn't working. I don't know why it wasn't working, but it works now. I updated, obviously, everything. I've updated my server to 1.6. I updated world edit to whatever, I think it's 4.6 is the latest version, and it works now. So we're gonna do the forest generate function to put a forest on this island. And we're gonna do that by doing slashed forest slashed forest gen. Oh, you can see the grass growing. You can see the grass growing. Slash forest gen, and then a radius. We're gonna do 20. I think that'll encompass most of the island. And then there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different things you can put here. And I'll put the link in the info. It's the different tree types. Uh, there's regular, that is the regular tree. Big, sequoia, tall sequoia, birch, pine, random sequoia, and random. So I'm gonna try, just for the heck of it, because I'm kind of curious if I do, this is one of the tall sequoias, I'm gonna do tall redwood. Okay, let's, uh, let's get out of here and see what this looks like. That is a lot of trees. Yeah, that's a lot of trees, and it looks like I could make the radius, I'll make it 10 bigger, I guess they automatically won't place on sand, is that the way this is gonna work? I'm going to I'm going to undo it and try it again. All right, this time I'm going to go 30. And do I really want the tall redwood? Let's try tall sequoia. And see. I I I'm not is that the no, white is the birch one. Okay, I'm going to try this and then I'm going to add another modifier to the end. You can add a density modifier and we're going to try 0.5 and see what that looks like. Oh, that didn't work. Forest gen. Did I use two slashes? Sometimes I do that. 30, tall, sequoia, sit tall, sequoia, uh, uh, Native Americans and their words, 0.5. Okay, that definitely worked, but 0.5 is way, hey, moo, 0.5 is way too sparse, so I want to maybe double that. So undo, do I like the sequoias? What if I just try big? I'm gonna try big trees. I'm gonna try. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna get to see some of my trial and error. Isn't that fun? We're gonna do 30 big, and we'll do one, one, or do I have to do a percentage? Let's find out. Well, I definitely don't have to do a percentage. Oh, I put them all over there. Put them all in one place. <sighs> I don't like that. I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, by the way, it says on the wiki if you do forest gen on the single player, it does. It is not undoable. So be careful. Be careful if that is the case. Okay. Let's try it again. Forest gen, 30, big, and we'll do 0.7. Let's take a look. Okay, I think that corner has too many trees. I think I'll just take out that one. And uh, this should be easy enough. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use a little world edit to help me out. I'm gonna select there, and I'm gonna select there, and expand 20 up, and I'm gonna replace wood with air. No, replace. Um, tree? It's 17. <laughs> there, that worked. <laughs> and those leaves should disappear, yeah. Alright, I've given myself some flowers, I'm gonna pretty up the place a little bit, and uh, probably add something in the center. I can't do any of the actual uh, zone stuff of it yet, the war zone stuff because I have to wait for Stevie to get home from work and add me as a zone maker. So, thanks for watching guys, I will see you next time. So pretty. Ooh, if I fly I can place them even faster. Look at this. Oh, boy.